Welcome to DX Sudoku training video number 44. In this video, we will discuss the advanced puzzle solving technique called bug plus one, also known as by value universal grave plus one. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. Determining if you have a bug plus one is very simple. At some point in the puzzle, all the remaining cells of the puzzle have exactly two possible candidates, except one cell has three possible candidates. There is also one additional check we have to make to ensure we have a valid bug plus one pattern we will discuss shortly. We search all the cells looking for any cell having exactly three possible candidates and confirm all the others have exactly two. We have found only one cell having three possible candidates now highlighted in green. The possible candidates are 3, 5, and 9. So at this point in the puzzle, cell 4, 5 is a focal point of the puzzle. We have three possible choices for this cell. The way the bug plus 1 works is you pick the value for the cell based on the, which possible candidate has exactly three occurrences in each of the three shared houses. Here are the three shared houses with the cell 4, 5 are identified and outlined in red, green, and blue. Next we need to validate two possible candidates in each of the three shared houses occurs only twice and one of the three possible candidates occurs exactly three times. There are two possible five candidates in the house making up row four. There are two possible five candidates in the house making up column five. There are two possible five candidates in the house making up block five. So far our bug plus one looks good. We move to the next number. There are two possible nine candidates in the house making up row four. There are two possible nine candidates in the house making up column five. And there are two possible nine candidates in the house making up block five. One more number to check for our bug plus one. We move to the next number. There are three possible three candidates in the house making up row four. There are three possible three candidates in the house making up column five. And there are three possible candidates in the house making up block five. At this point, we would choose 3 as the value for cell 4, 5. But before we choose the value, let's consider the bug plus 1 logic. Assume cell 4, 5 is not 3, as shown by a black box over the possible candidate. At this point in the puzzle, every cell has two possible candidates. There is no logic for us to decide which number to choose. In my opinion, this already constitutes an invalid Sudoku at this point, since it requires us to guess in order to proceed. Therefore, if you accept the no guessing rule, then cell 4, 5 must be 3. However, let's consider the other possibilities. There are two scenarios to consider. The first scenario is if we choose the number 5 or the number 9, and the puzzle does not have a valid solution. We choose 5 for the value of cell 4, 5 as shown. This then creates some naked singles, which are now circled in red. We choose the values for the naked singles. This then creates some more naked singles. We choose the values for the naked singles. This time we cannot continue. We cannot have a house having two of the same number. So when choosing the value 5 for cell 4, 5, it results in a puzzle that does not have a valid solution. This time we choose 9 for the value of cell 4, 5 as shown. This then creates some naked singles. We choose the values for the naked singles. We find more naked singles. We choose the values, except this time we have a contradiction in the puzzle as shown. So choosing a value of 9 for the cell 4, 5 results in a puzzle that does not have a valid solution. For this puzzle, when we choose 5 or 9, it does not result in a solvable puzzle. The second scenario to consider is when choosing 5 or 9 actually results in a valid solution for the puzzle. So if choosing 5 results in a set of numbers solving the puzzle, then choosing 9 would also result in a different set of numbers solving the puzzle. Most people accept the rule that if a Sudoku puzzle has more than one solution, then it's not a valid puzzle. I have not met anyone who takes the position Sudoku puzzles having more than one solution is still a valid Sudoku puzzle. Also, for this video we tried to find a bug plus one example where not choosing the plus one candidate resulted in a puzzle having two valid solutions, but we were not successful. If anyone watching this video knows of a puzzle having a bug plus one resulting in two solution puzzle, 
when not picking the plus one candidate, please post a link to a picture of it in this video's comment section. We would really like to see it. So in conclusion, the first scenario resulted in unsolvable puzzles, and the second scenario, if it existed, results in two solutions to the puzzle. Therefore, we must conclude we must choose the value 3 for the cell 4, 5. Let's review the bug plus 1 pattern. Only one remaining cell has three possible candidates highlighted in green. All the other remaining cells have two possible candidates. The possible 5 candidate circled in red occurs only twice in each of the three shared houses. The possible 9 candidate circled in blue occurs exactly twice in each of the three shared houses as shown. And the possible 3 candidate or the plus 1 candidate circled in black occurs exactly 3 times in each of the three shared houses. Before we choose the value 3 for cell 4, 5, we have one remaining check to make. We must confirm all possible candidates in each house only occurs exactly twice in each house, except for our plus 1 candidate. Once we have this final confirmation, then we can choose the value 3 for the cell 4, 5. We have confirmed all the remaining possible candidates showing up in all 27 houses all occur exactly twice per house except our plus one candidate for this puzzle. We choose the value 3 for the cell 4, 5 as shown. Time to test what you have learned. Before we begin, please remember to take some time to support DX Sudoku. Pause the video and find the bug plus one cell in the puzzle. Make sure you identify which candidate is to be chosen as the value of the cell. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the bug plus one cell in the puzzle. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the bug plus one cell in the puzzle. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the bug plus one cell in the puzzle. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the bug plus one cell in the puzzle. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the bug plus one cell in the puzzle. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the bug plus one cell in the puzzle. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the bug plus one cell in the puzzle. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the bug plus one cell in the puzzle. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the bug plus one cell in the puzzle. Here is the solution. This completes DX Sudoku training video number 44. Please support DX Sudoku. Thank you for watching.